Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a full face of makeup that my sister picked out for me. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. Which colours are we looking for? Whatever you white? like. white are we looking for nude? I was thinking a nice purple. Purple. Yeah, different shades of purple, different shades of blue. Mm. I like the jewel here. Do you see the jewel one? Mm -hmm. And then that one's also a nice one, this kiss kiss. Yeah. Oh, okay, got him. Never mind. Let's retract this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take these three, okay? Okay, so put it in the basket. So now this is all the primers liquid products and okay. then definitely love this one i like this one okay which blush i have lots of other this blushes one. no this one the light peach yes light but okay. we'll see we'll see and then these are all bronzers over there and over there let's use this one okay do you want <laughs> blush highlight and bronzer or just bronzer blush and highlight bronzer and highlight. i mean bronzer and highlight okay. the blush is the peach I think you should use this one. I do want to see how it looks. Okay. How it turns out. One draw down. Down. Here we have lipsticks, lip liners, and foundations. I think you should use quite a nude lipstick. That one actually goes with the blush. Okay. okay. But then you can choose a foundation. Foundation. Okay, what are we going to use today? I've never seen. Uh, no, no, no. I want to see this one. Okay. <laughs> the sorbet key. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Let me look at this brand. Okay. 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 Let's see. Okay. Let's see. This is a really nice one. Is Roma good? It depends. This collection one also looks good. Never Perfect. mind. <laughs> Got it. Perfect. Okay. And that's it. Thank you, Yay, Kelly. Thank you. For primer, she picked out the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum. As you know, this is not my fave, but she wanted to see how it looked on my skin. So I'm taking like that much. It's very runny. And just popping that on the skin just for some extra hydration. I've already prepped my skin with like moisturizer and some niacinamide. And clearly I've already done my brows because I don't have many brow products. So I use the same thing every day. <laughs> Next, she didn't pick this out, but I just wanted to, because I feel like this doesn't do much for my skin. So I've, I've just added in the Essence Poreless Partner Primer and it is a mattifying and blurring primer. Not much blurring to be honest, but I just wanted to get some use out of this. And I'm just going to put that in the center of my face where I have more pores. Just giving that a second to dry down while we just add some lip balm. So she picked this one that I got from Wish, if I'm not mistaken, and it looks like that. And then it has like some gold flecks in it and is just a, I think it's pH adjusting, I'm not quite sure. It smells really good like peach. So for eyeshadow primer, I'm just using a concealer. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Conceal and Define. As you know, this is in my, or if you don't know, this is in my project pan. Um, so I just use it as an eyeshadow prim primer because I don't like the formula. It is almost completely finished. So I'm just using what's left of it and using it as a eyeshadow primer so we can get some use out of it as well as just finish it. I do have some like lash glue stuck to my lashes which i hate but it just won't come off let's also bring you guys a little bit closer as you saw in the clips before she picked three eyeshadow palettes so the first one is the makeup revolution reloaded palette in the colorway visionary and then she picked the miss claus santa's daughter is here to slay a so spoiled palette by bh cosmetics and then the Barry M Last Treasures eyeshadow palette. So in this one, she wants me to 
get into this shade here which is called jewel and then for this one she'd like me to use the shade kiss kiss over there so she wants me to go like in a purpley direction with a touch of blue so i'm not sure how i'll incorporate the blue but we're gonna try and then for this she didn't say what she'd like me to use so i think i'll go for the purple and maybe that one to blend it out but i'm actually gonna go ahead and slightly set my eyeshadow primer and i'm going to oops and i'm gonna go ahead and use the shade i don't usually like to do eyeshadow first but i know with these eyeshadow palettes the shimmers are quite messy so I thought we'd do this first. Firstly, I'm going to take like a flat fluffy brush and I'm gonna take this purple over here and that I'm just gonna pop through the crease. The shade is actually really light, so I'm not sure if I'll blend it out with another color because I might lose the intensity. Yeah, I don't think I'll blend this out with another color actually, so scrap that. Then just taking the brush that I did that light shade on just to set my eyelids, I'm going to go around the edges just to soften it up. Then I'm actually just gonna go in with the shimmers for now. So I'm gonna take in the Barry M Lost Treasures palette, I'm gonna take the shade Jewel, just on a smaller brush that's the same kind of shape that the first one we used, but it's slightly denser, and I'm gonna pick that up. So this is the shadow that's super messy. So just picking that up, I'm going to darken out the outer corners. This color has like a, almost a black base shade and I'm just going to push that in. And as you can see, there's a lot of fallout. So I think I'm actually going to spray my brush with some setting spray just to get some more adherence from it. Is that even a word? Just so it adheres better. And I just do like two spritzes. And then you'll see the texture completely changes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just blend out that little tip of the eye with the purple. I did pick up a little bit more just to intensify that and blend it further together. Something like that, we'll neaten it up in a second, but, and I have so much fallout. Then I'm going to take the BH Cosmetic palette, let's just call it that. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Kiss Kiss and I'm gonna fill in the rest of the lid with that. Again, spraying it with some setting spray. I love the shift that this has to it. I don't know if it's translating on camera, but it has like flecks of blue and silver and pink in it. And then I'm just gonna go in with the purple again and just blend out around the edges just to intensify that color again because we kind of lose it. And then I'm just gonna jump off camera and clean this up and we'll move it along. Next, moving on to liner, she picked the Rimmel Scandal Eyes precision micro liner. I don't feel like I need a liner, but I might just line my lash line and not wing it out. So let's go ahead and do that. This is not the best liner. It is a felt tip. So you know how they dry out when you draw over eyeshadow. Moving on to mascara, we have the, this looks like disgusting just because my lash glue, my black lash glue exploded in my makeup bag while I was traveling and it went everywhere. And every time I try to remove it, it takes off the writing. So then I can't remember the product's full name. So anyway, it looks like that, but it is the Makeup Revolution Big Lash XX Volume Mascara. And I'm just going to do a coat on my, or a couple of coats on my top lashes and we'll do the bottom lashes when we do the when we finish the eye look up later on once I have all my base products down. I do like this mascara but it's not as voluminous as I like my lashes even though it's called big lash but I do like the brush a lot. I prefer like spiky brushes even though I do like scratch my eyes but the spikier the brush, the better my lashes look. I did get some on my lid, but we'll clean that up later. But let's move on to the skin. So my lips are getting super stringy. For foundation, she picked one of my favorites, which is the Sorbet Face First SPF 15 Anti-Aging Foundation and Serum. I really like this. However, like I said, the shades do pull quite orange, so you have to be careful with that. But all in all, the way the foundation feels on your skin is so lightweight and it's gorgeous. The color might not be exactly correct, but it definitely is a nice texture. As you can see there, it's a very, very orange and it's so thin and so lightweight. 
I love it. So I'm just spreading it on the face because it does come with a dropper, which I actually hate on foundations. And then I'm just gonna take a sponge just to sheer it out a little bit and blend that into the skin. Next, she didn't specifically pick this product, but just because of the blush shade that she did choose, I've pulled out my Makeup Revolution, what is it called, Fast Base Blush in the color peach because she did pick as you saw in the clip but she did pick a peach blush and just to bring it out more i've decided to bring this in just to add a little bit more color so that peach will adhere but she didn't pick out a cream contour so i'm not going to use that but i am going to use this just because it really helps like bring out the vibrance of a color so just going to pop that on my cheek for concealer, <laughs> she's pretty bougie, isn't she? She picked the um, Charlotte Tilbury, the Retoucher Concealer, and I have mine in the shade 3 Medium. It's pretty old though, so hopefully it's still okay. And I'm just going to pop that under the eyes and down the center planes of the face. Then I'm actually going to take a flat paddle brush and just blend it out with that so you can get maximum coverage just blend that concealer in with the blush so i would just went ahead and set my under eyes because she didn't pick a translucent powder but she did pick a loose powder for the rest of the face which is the w7 sheer loose powder in the shade biscuit so i'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with that so this powder is really messy but i'm just going to tip some out in the cap and then go ahead and use a nice loose fluffy brush dip into that and then i like to just pass it out on my hand just to get the powder evenly distributed as well as tap off any excess and then let's go ahead and i'm just going to pounce this on the skin don't want to drag because i do have a lot of like more liquidy products so it could go like super goopy and like claggy if you drag it along the skin as you can see like we kind of lose the blush but it still helps like anchor the blush down once we add the powder brush on top and then once there's powder evenly distributed over the face i go in once more and then i just buff everything further into the skin if the sound was a bit funny there i'm so sorry i forgot to push record on my mic having one of those days today but hopefully it wasn't too bad it was only like a couple minutes in when i noticed so Hopefully it wasn't too bad. I know there's a lot of clicking because my camera like you can hear the whir of it like recording. It's pretty annoying. But anyway, hopefully that wasn't too bad. So the face is looking pretty powdery and I cannot wait to use some setting spray. This powder isn't the best, like not compared to like the e.l.f. and even the collection powder was a lot better than this and much more smoothing. This just sets the face. It doesn't really like blur your pores or any of that good stuff. For bronzer we have this Urban Decay Naked Flushed palette and I've showed it on my channel before I think and that's what it looks like. So she's picked the bronzer and the highlighter from here so I'm going to go ahead and use that on an angled brush. This does have a slight glow to it and I really really love this bronzer. They do have new packaging for this right now so if you're going out to buy it just remember it won't look the same. Look how pretty that is. And it blends really, really seamlessly. Love this stuff. Then just along the jawline. I'm also just going to use a little bit down the sides of the nose. Coming from the brow. But not too much. Because it, like I said, it does have a shimmer in it. And then we're going to use the highlighter in this palette as well. I'm just going to use a fan brush. Dip into that. And pop these on the cheeks it's just such a natural looking highlighter i really like it it does have like micro fine glitter in it but nothing too crazy that will make you look like a disco ball very very pretty my eye look is pretty dramatic today but i mean it's nice to be creative and play with makeup every now and then even though it doesn't get the most views but i really really do love playing with stuff and i love this palette so good um my nose looks weird 
Then for blush, as you saw, she picked the Mode Elite blush palette and she would like me to use this shade here. And like I said, because it's so light, that's why I had to go ahead and just add something to anchor it to. And I'm just gonna pick that up on a fluffy powder brush and just pop that on the cheeks, just above the highlight and between, I mean, just above the bronzer and between the highlight. So I'm gonna have to layer this on just because it is such a light shade. As you can see, it's it's casting on my skin, but I might add in a little bit of the deeper orange shade just towards the back of my cheeks. So just taking the orange next to it, still with the same theme, but just gonna pop that towards the back just to stop the casting. A little bit on the nose just to tie everything together. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I'm not sure if the eyes and the cheeks completely go together, but let's see. Next, I'm going to just set my face and give myself a couple of spritzes. I shouldn't pick this, but it's one of like a few setting sprays that I have left because I go through so many. And as you all know, I'm trying not to buy so much stuff this year. So I'm gonna wait until it completely runs out before I replace it. But I give that a couple of seconds to dry down, not fully, like maybe 80% of the way. And then I take my beauty sponge and I just pop over that and try and push it in to the skin further. Also just picking up any of that excess powder. Let's go ahead and do lips. I do not have many uh, lip liners, so I usually just use the same set that I have. So I'm gonna wipe this off a lip. As you can see, it does stain your lip. So. Uh, for lip liner, I'm using my Wet n Wild color icon in the shade Chestnut. And just gonna line with that. For lipstick, she picked another Charlotte Tilbury product, and that is the lipstick in Stoned Rose. And I'm just gonna fill in the lips with that. It's not entirely a nude, it is quite orangey, but it goes with the blush. Speaking of which, I feel like I need a little bit more blush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyes. So for that, I'm going to use this palette again, and I'm gonna go in Let's open it up so you can actually see. So I'm gonna go in with this a deeper brown shade over here, just um, under the eyes. And then I am gonna go ahead and add a touch of blue to the look. And I'm gonna mix this one and this one together just to add a little bit of a blue pop, but we'll see how that turns out. Lastly, just adding some mascara to the bottom lashes. Then I'm just gonna go clean off that little mascara mark and take down my hair and then I will show you the finished look. So this is the finished look. Well, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much to everyone for watching. I really hope you like the look. I really like it. I went a little bit more dramatic than I thought I would go, but I really, really enjoy it what it looks like let me know if you guys would like to see more of these i can get my mom my dad my brother to pick my makeup so yeah let me know what you guys think and please remember to like and subscribe as well as comment for engagement and i will see you all in my next one